Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Oh my God, has it felt like such a long time since I've said that. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys a really cool Spider- <clears throat> In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys a really cool Spider-Man inspired text effect which you can do inside Photoshop. Now I actually used this text effect in my final major project for university which I've just finished which is why you're seeing my return to uploading hopefully consistently. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, it's a really cool effect and you should be able to follow it along pretty easily. It's not too advanced and as always guys, if you do learn anything new in today's video, please leave a like on the video and subscribe for more videos like this one. But yeah, let's get into the effect. Okay guys, so before we even get started in Photoshop, half of the effect is going to rely on your choice of font. So what we're going to do is go to dafont.com or any font website of your choice. And we want to look for a comic style font. So I've just gone to dafont because I know they have a nice comic section on there. And what we're going to do is in the preview box, we're just going to type what we want our text effect to actually say once we're finished with it. I'm just going to use my name for the sakes of this video. You guys can type whatever you'd like. And we're just going to scroll down and you're going to pick out one that you think would work. This one is pretty similar to what we're going to be using in my one today. This one's called Adventure if you want to use the exact font. However, the one I'm going to be using in today's video is called SF Fedora. But please have a, have a search for your own fonts if you want to try this with a different font to mine. There are plenty of cool fonts to choose from and not just from this website either. So once you've done that, we're going to open up Photoshop. It doesn't matter what document size, you can do this on any size document. However, I've got this on 1920 by 1080 if you want to follow exactly along. First thing we're going to do on a new layer is we're just going to fill in the background color. This part doesn't really matter, but it's just to help us see exactly what we're doing. And I'm just going to lock it just so we can see what we're doing. Then we're going to make a new layer. And what we're actually going to do is we're going to type out our text. And what you want to have is two lines of text. So I'm just going to do my first and second name. And I'm just going to duplicate that by holding Alt and dragging to duplicate that text layer. And I'm just going to type my second name in under here. So it doesn't have to be laid out anywhere exact like now. Just roughly something around this is what we're going for. Something along these lines. The font that I'm using is called SF Fedora if you want to use the exact font that I'm doing. I'm pretty sure I got it from that font. I'm not 100% on that though. And what we're actually going to do now is starting with the second line of text. We're going to press T on our keyboard to bring up the type tool. And you'll notice up here, that what we're going to do is we're going to press this little T with the little arc icon and this is going to bring up the warp text tool. And this is what we're going to use to get half of the effect going for us, that little arc. We want it to kind of look like it's popping out towards us out of the screen. Now, depending on what your word says, you're going to want your your values to be a little bit different to mine so don't necessarily copy exactly as i'm doing mine but just take the rough the rough kind of numbers and maybe vary it slightly depending on how your word looks to get it to how you like it it doesn't have to be exactly the same as mine but what we're going to do is we're going to click on this style drop down menu and click on arc and it's going to default it to 50 we're obviously just going to drag that down because that's quite aggressive i'm going to do mine around i think about 23 percent kind of works well for the length of my surname then what we're going to want to do as well is turn up this horizontal distortion because when we after we've done all the effects it's going to make it look like it's coming out of our screen like kind of to the right over here it's going to look like it's leaping out of the screen a little bit somewhere between 45 and 50 i'm going with for mine again it'll be different for your word play around with it and see how you like it and then for vertical distortion i'm just going to turn this down a little bit i'm just going to turn it down to maybe minus five something like that works yeah so then what we're going to want to do is we're just going to move our top line up a little bit now and we're going to do i'm going to start with the the same numbers so i'm gonna i think i did 23 percent did 60 percent on here and i did like minus five percent on here now this one's gonna take a little bit more to get right because basically as you can see this isn't now curving the right way but it looks about right so what i'm gonna do is hit okay i'm gonna press ctrl t on my keyboard and just with my eye i'm just gonna line this up roughly so that it's kind of centered with the word but it also just follows that rough line so if you can see here so that you could almost brush out something in the middle of it there you want it to kind of follow this kind of path along the top top of the text but leave a nice enough gap there's something like this i think works for mine then what we want to do next is again click on this bottom text we're going to hit Control t we're going to hold Control on our keyboard and grabbing this middle point on the left here we're just going to drag it into the right a little bit now you can see if i move this up and down that value changes try to keep it on zero or as close to zero as possible so that you know you're doing it in a dead straight line and we're only bringing it in to the right like so now i'm quite happy with something like that we squished it in a little bit more and then we're just going to do the same with our top line of text once we're happy with that and again you're going to have to do this by eye and you're going to have to line it up 
however you see fit, depending on what your text says. However, I like mine looking something like that. So what I'm going to do now is group both of those layers. So with one selected, I'm going to hold shift and click on the other text layer and hit control G to group it. That puts them into a group and now I can move this around my canvas together. Then what I'm going to do is hold an alt on my keyboard and drag that layer, that group layer one up so it duplicates it. Then hit control E on my keyboard to merge it. And then I'm going to click on this little fill drop down here and turn that down to 0%. Now what that's done is actually made that not opaque. What we're going to do is apply some layer styles to it and it's going to apply to the outside of the layer even though it's not visible. I'm just going to hide the group underneath just so you can see what we're doing once we've done the layer styles. And I'm going to double click on that duplicated merge layer that we've got. And that's going to bring up our layer styles panel. And I'm going to click in stroke. I've got mine set to five pixels, but make sure depending on your canvas size and your text, this will vary on how you'll get a similar looking stroke around the edge. So please make sure to play around with it and get something looking as similar to this as possible. You can pause the video and match it if you want. And we're just going to make this red. Just drag your, your hue bar to the top or the bottom and just make it in the top right corner and we're going to have that red. Once you're happy with that stroke, what you're going to do is click OK. Then you're going to right click that layer we've just made that has the stroke on it and click rasterize layer style. Then we're going to double click that layer again to open up the layer styles panel and we're going to click bevel and emboss. Then what you want to do is make sure you're set to inner bevel. Your size is on at least one. I'd say between one and three is a pretty good place to have it. I'm going to leave mine on one. And then you just want your depth to, if you turn it all the way up, you can kind of see it makes it really dark. And if you have it on zero, obviously it doesn't do anything at all. So I'm going to have mine kind of, I'm going to say around 400 works for mine. It doesn't have to be exact. Around that works for mine. So you can kind of see it makes this kind of 3D kind of bumped of embossed effect around the edge of our stroke. And now what we're going to want to do is unhide that group layer that we had earlier. Duplicate our group so that we've got two in the top group. What we're going to want to do is select both our layers again, hit T on our keyboard, come up to the top to change the text color. And we're just going to select white and click OK. Then we're going to hide that top group once more. Then what we want to do is on the group underneath is we want to hit Control E. So it's going to merge it. Hit V on our keyboard so that we're on the select tool. Then holding Alt on our keyboard, what you want to do is hit. Then what you want to do holding Alt on our keyboard is hit the down arrow once and the right arrow once. And you just want to repeat those two arrows whilst holding alt the entire time. And as you see, the further we get along, it will start to create this 3D kind of drop shadow, but not drop shadow to it, just like the 3D sides to our text. And I'm happy with it looking like that. You just kind of want to stop when you've got it as thick looking as you like. And what you're going to want to do is now you see we have loads of these layers. So you want to select the top one, scroll all the way down until you find the bottom one. Holding shift, you want to click on the bottom layer and we're gonna merge those. You can have a right click and merge layers or you can hit Control E on your keyboard. Then we're very nearly done with this effect, guys. What you wanna do is we're gonna open up Google and we're gonna search half tone dots. And then I'm gonna use this image here. So what I'm gonna do is right click and do copy image and hit Control V inside of Photoshop. Then what I'm gonna do is, select, is click select color range and just click anywhere white on my canvas and make sure this fuzziness slider is all the way up to 200. I'm gonna click OK. I'm going to hit delete twice on my keyboard. Then I'm going to drag this above the second text layer. So it's above our bottom text layer, not the top one. So what I'm going to do is hold left all and click on the bottom of this layer. So it clipping mask onto our second text layer. Hit control T on my keyboard. I'm just going to resize this. So it's about, I'd say about three quarters of the width of our word, maybe slightly less, maybe slightly more depending on what your word is. But I'm basically looking to make sure that I like how the half tone kind of effect is going to look although bear in mind it will be blurrier in this preview than it will actually be and also that there's enough space between the top of this uh half tone pattern and the top of the text so something around here works well then what i'm going to do is duplicate this half tone pattern i'm just going to move it along and put it on top of our other one with the edge like this so you see these two circles here i'm just going to make sure this one is on top of that one like that and then I'm going to merge those two layers and they're both going to be clipping masked to our text. So now what I can do is hit Control T on that merged layer, come up to the top here where there's this warp and I'm going to drag these handles up so that it warps with our text. I'm going to do the same on this side and I'm basically going to warp it to the shape of our text. So the half tone pattern is going to go and follow that similar path as our text. Now it doesn't have to be exact and if anything I think this actually looks quite nice so yeah i'm quite happy with that i found something that i like and i think works with this text effect and then all i'm going to do is holding alt i'm going to drag this above our top text layer 
clipping mask it to the top text layer and holding shift I'm just going to click and drag it upwards so that it reaches our top text layer and again I'm just going to transform this so that it fits into our our top text as well and I'm just going to play around warping it until we have it something that I like something like that looks okay enough for, for me for this tutorial and now I've gone with something like this now you guys can have fun playing around with the kind of halftone pattern inside of Photoshop and using different assets and stuff to do it. I've just done it kind of quick for the tutorial. I would take a lot more care if I was doing this actually for like a project or something. And then the final step of this tutorial, guys, is quite literally double click this layer, click color overlay, and we're just going to make this that kind of red color and make sure this is on normal. And we're just going to duplicate that text effect onto the bottom. Then once I've done that, just to make some tiny adjustments after I've done all of this, I'm going to hide our background layer, hit Shift, Control and Alt E on our keyboard to duplicate and merge everything we've already done. Hide the other layers, hit Control T on our keyboard and just make some final tweaks to how the text actually looks itself till I've got something we're happy with. And just like that, guys, we have got our text effect. So this is a Spider-Man inspired text effect. And yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching guys and I hope you really enjoyed that text effect. I thought it was really cool and I loved making this stuff for my final major project. If you want to view the projects in question there will be a link to my portfolio as always in the description. But yeah as always guys if you did learn anything new in today's video please leave a like on the video it helps me out massively and shows me you want to see more videos from me and will motivate me to keep uploading more consistently to be honest. And if you want to see more videos like this from me don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.